Good morning, shoot, shift operator and shift supervisor. Today we're preparing shutdown to rectify due to the annual maintenance that we usually do um, every year on uh, the reactor, on reactor five and uh, unit 15. Um, so today I'll be going over with y'all with some safety procedures, uh, try to get y'all up to par as far as what we've started already and what we'll be doing moving forward. Um, there are several issues that need it, that need to be addressed, along with safety precautions to maintain a safe work environment. Um, so what we went over this morning, you know, prior to the shutdown, um, we made sure we selected the proper PPE in order to do our job duties. We walked down the unit. Uh, we turned off all all flow valves. We did our lockout tag out to make sure that everything was locked out, tagged out, that we didn't have to go through the process of doing that and somebody uh, going in and opening a valve or uh, taking off a boat or, you know, messing with a flange and you know, getting, getting hurt. So we made sure we did that. We made sure we locked out, locked out, tagged out. Uh, then we proceeded to blind off all, you know, all flanges uh, just for possible leaks in order, you know, for us to start the process of uh, going inside this reactor. Uh, all correct steps were taken to ensure that, you know, that, that it was safe to in, enter the reactor as the head was being removed. Um, we checked for dangerous fumes, which that was done by me and the chemical engineer. Um, as far as the tools go, uh, proper tools were selected by me and the maintenance crew um, before we can we can actually remove anything, we had to get those proper tools in place. So during the shift, you know, following tools and equipment equipment were used to shut down the reactor, um, a torque wrench, uh, a flange bleeder, hammer. We used also used a crane for the uh, to take the head off, air compressor, um, fresh air bottles, because we didn't want to work around. Um, the reactor, knowing that it had dangerous fumes coming out of it. Make sure they had, you know, make sure we had protective gloves on. Um, we had hearing protection and we had the proper footwear. Um, these selected pieces were documented on the permit also, you know, for the job duty. Um, initiated with a corrected plan in place, you know, for the startup of the shutdown job. The plant supervisor uh, also re reassured the proper protocols to make certain that everything was correctly established. So, uh, but the safety procedures at hand, uh, we, we kind of ran into a few problems early on, but they were fixed. Um, they were they were handled um, by me and, you know, me and the main screw, of course, again. Uh, we had, you know, um, a cracked flange, we had a temperature rise, we had high H2S, uh, which is now, you know, under control. We got the levels back to normal. Uh, also, the reactor's been purged um, due to the, t the head being taken off. Um, make sure that we're mitigating all those, all those fumes or any type of leak leak leakage that's uh, being released uh, from the reactor. Um, I also noticed earlier that um, some contract workers didn't have the proper PPE on or they wasn't wearing something. So make sure on the second shift that you have or you make them or you advise them to uh, make sure that they have the proper PPE on in order to do their job duties. Um, if not, um, they, they cannot work um, at all. Uh, so right now, um, you know, just going through the whole um, process of um, everything that's that's being put on the uh, the safety data sheet, as far as what steps we've taken. Um, so this morning, like this morning, we're going to do these these pre checks, which I've already checked off. I have noted everything that we have done on this shift. You know, so second shift that um, I would like for the reactor to be up and running uh, when we get back on first shift in the morning. Uh, things that need to be done. First, the first, first and foremost is um, our safety um, data sheet for entry. Uh, make sure that the C two, the C two, CO levels 
are uh, are normal. Continue to purge. Um, unload your callus, remove your columns, your feed tray removal, uh, remove, fix any any cracks that uh, that may be present. Uh, make sure you 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 handle that situation. Uh, remove your cor corrosion buildup, uh, replace broken bolts, start the reload process for the next shift. So the only thing that we have to do is go back in, hook everything back up, and get everything started. Um, and and we'll be back up back up in the running. Uh, we need to finish it in, in a man a timely manner. Reason reason B for production purposes. So we not we got to have it running back up and running. Um, if there are any questions, concerns, or whatever that you, uh, you if you need anything, feel free to contact me. Uh, I will be available. And um, I hope y'all have a wonderful night, safe night, and make sure that you guys. Uh, throughout the plant are safe. So I'll see y'all tomorrow on first shift.